called Niji Fanji fans in quotations are doing again. VTuber drama. Let's get it. Hey, what's up, guys? We're up here. So today I wanted to quickly cover the latest round of Niji yeah. Sanji EN related drama. However, in a crazy twist, I will actually be taking the side of the liver in this case because I believe a Oh wait, does he usually not take the side of the livers? Is he usually just like anti livers for Niji Sanji specific? I don't I don't really know. Rosami Lovelock is the victim of another round Rosami. of performative outrage and virtue signaling from slacktivists on Twitter. So Slacktivist. as with any very serious activists caught slacken situation on social media, this begins with McDonald's. Yeah. <gasps> so McDonald's for the past year or so has done a lot uh -huh. of anime related ads and in accord Dude, those McDonald's ads are going crazy. And I've seen so much NTR <laughs> fan art of the Japanese McDonald's ad characters too. For some fucking reason. <laughs> Anyway, that's a totally separate thing. Um, the McDonald's ads really went viral too. Um, I think there was a um, whole topic of it was like a normative, just like a heterosexual family, right? You just got a mom, dad, and kids, and it was like a just a post, just like a you know all Japanese couple, just a McDonald's just having fun eating the commercial, right? Everyone's so happy, You're like woo! McDonald's anime, great! But then it's like if that same commercial dropped in America, people will be like, what? Oh, you need everyone straight? No gays? No trans? What's going on? Cancel McDonald's! According to that, they made this post sharing a PNG yeah. of a pair of hash browns with a oh. set of hands that you can attach Lude. to your VTuber model, anime character, or artwork to basically hold up these two items, right? <laughs> That's kind of cute, I guess, right? Just, I mean, I'm not a PNG tuber, but like, you, you imagine Rev's hands, you know, just holding these. He should just move the his model. He can't. He can't just overlay behind right now, but like, it would be hilarious. Obviously, a very fun, wholesome thing. And Rosemi would actually participate in this trend saying, Aww. I got the hash browns you wanted. Aww. And of course, the PNG is attached. So happy. So cunning. What could possibly go wrong? How could people possibly be upset at this cunny ass VTuber holding cunny ass, you know, uh, hash browns? It's so cute. What? To her VTuber model right here. Now, this post would stir a great deal of outrage <laughs> from the Niji sisters, some even pulling their love. Niji sisters? What's a Niji sister? Is it basically consumers of Niji Sanji content, but they're a female audience? I've been support from Rose and me after this. And why is this so controversial? Well, we'll get into that in just a second. But I'm going to just guess that they're basically like, ah, uh, fuck. Like some brands will, let's say like some brands like donated a lot of money to like Israel. Or like some brands donated a lot of money to some kind of cause that they don't, they're not too fond of. And then it's just like, oh, now if, if McDonald's, let's say if, let's say if McDonald's like um, um, endorsed like Israel and said like Palestine bad or something, and suddenly if Rosami ate the McDonald's hash, like it has this going on, then people are gonna be like, oh, do you hate Palestine then? Why are you doing this, Rosami? You're a war criminal. It's like, hold the fuck up. Wait, wait, wait. It's, it's, it's like, how the fuck are you gonna hold one individual accountable for like the actions of a parent company that did something entirely different? These are what's called slacktivists, right? Like you do something and then suddenly they turn on you. But then you could use that same principle of like, okay, do you have a smartphone? Okay, you have an iPhone. Got it. Those like Niji sisters. Okay, you're tweeting the hate from your iPhone. Who made that iPhone? This is the product of like child labor. Do you support child labor? I guess you must, right? Do you use Amazon, for example? Do you buy shit off of Amazon? You've heard of Amazon, you know, um, putting work into such shitty situations. And do you support Jeff Bezos and all the shitty things he, do he does for the working force? I guess you're anti-worker if you use Amazon service, right? It's like, how could you possibly, how could you possibly come to that conclusion? It's insanity. But first, just imagine, just imagine being gatekept by a PNG of a hash brown. Couldn't be me. But let's look at some of these quotes. Uh, this user saying, don't forget to boycott McDonald's. This <laughs> boycott McDonald's. What do they do? I genuinely am interested. This user saying, and remember to boycott McDonald's, frowny face. So what are they talking about? Well, this reply right here gives some more context. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So just so you know, there's currently a boycott uh, for McDonald's since they are supporting the Palestinians. 
right. Okay, so McDonald's didn't support Israel. They're supporting Palestine. Act now against these companies profiting from the genocide of the Palestinian people. But it's like, you, you don't actually care about that. Nobody actually gives a fuck about, you know, with, like, like, killing bad, right? Israel killing, Palestine killing, all killing just bad. Hot take. I don't think people should be killing each other. But there are some people that take these social causes and they, they almost like LARP. They're almost like LARPing and acting as if this is the biggest issue in their life. And they'll like subject Rosemary, for example, or like, oh, you're holding McDonald's hash browns? Well, did you know McDonald's actually donated to this company, which donated to a different company, which manages some other company, which actually supports Palestine? Oh my God, I cannot believe, Rosemary, that you're a member of the Hamas. It's like, how did you come to that conclusion? What in the fuck is going on? Again, these are not principal statements. This person is tweeting this shit from some service, some product that inevitably has been touched by a different corp that has done something just as bad as whatever that, you know, this person is saying, like Palestinian like, genocide. It's fucking insanity. Text, this user says in, re in the replies, just so you know, there is currently a boycott for McDonald's since they are supporting the Palestinian genocide. Now we've seen this happen before. We've seen this exact. I just realized something. This brand here, Siemens. <laughs> One letter away from literally being Siemens. What a name. What a fucking name. Zach Graff being shared against the tweets of other Niji Sanji Ian Livers who have supported companies like McDonald's or Starbucks. And in this case, you can see McDonald's is listed as one of the boycott. Same with Papa John's. I can't eat Papa John's. Burger King, I don't even know what a Wix is. Pizza Hut's pretty much out of meta. Or Domino's Pizza. Goddamn. Last night, I ate McDonald's. It's looking like I am now helping these companies that's profiting off the genocide of the Palestinian people. Every bite of that Big Mac I took, one innocent Palestinian child died. Blood is in my hands. This is crazy. I cannot believe I did this. I need to get canceled. Hot targets, and people are going after Rose and me. And what's funny is, before we even get into some of the, the further replies, look at the other companies listed here. Yeah. Google and Amazon. Amazon. By like, I guarantee you this person has used the fucking Google or Amazon indirectly. Like, the fact that they're using Twitter right now, which is probably using AWS backend. Like, you are tweeting, you are using an iPhone, you're the companies that, like, represent whatever products you're using probably did even more heinous shit. But, like, again, this is not a principled stance. They don't give a fuck about the Palestinian genocide. They don't give a fuck about any of that. They just care about, you know, looking morally correct, grand gesturing on social media, farming the engagement, then the numbers go up, the likes go up, and they get some sort of dopamine rise. What a pathetic individual. Virtue of using Google or using YouTube or using Twitch, you are violating this boycott. Man. Which I would imagine pretty much everyone is doing. Guys, if you use Chevron, if you use gas, if you drive a Volvo car, oh my god, if you use an HP computer, I hope you don't, right? You are actively supporting the genocide of Palestinian people. Doing in these replies who are complaining about Rosamie's tweet because they are, if, if they're watching the streams, they're watching it on one of those platforms, so they're already. Exactly! You are literally using Amazon services. You're using Google some way, somehow. But like, they don't think about that. The hypocrisy, the contradictions. None of this shit makes sense because it doesn't make sense. It's not supposed to. They never thought about this. Hypocrites under their own standards. But let's look at some of the other replies and quotes. Uh -oh. This user said, Rosemary, I don't know if you're aware, but there is a huge ongoing boycott of McDonald's and other brands that are complicit in genocide. I urge you to read a bit about it. Please, it's not really great to promote McDonald's like this, especially now. I, like if Monkey started to do this shit on me in my own individual brand here, because I'm not sponsored by, any, by anything, right? I'm free to just say whatever the fuck I want. I would immediately call them a hypocritical idiot. This is coming from uh, a non principle stance. Everything that you're doing probably, you know, actively supports the genocide too, according to your principles. This is bullshit, right? But Rosemi can't say that. Like, she represents a different entity known as Nijisan. She cannot just say whatever she wants to say. So whenever they get shit on like this, it must suck so much trying to give like a PR response. Maybe sometimes people even fold and even apologize on behalf. It's so sad 
to see what happens. When your livelihood is on the line, you cannot, like, voice your opinions. Me, I'll just be like, shut the fuck up, monkey, and then ban. But Rosemi can't just do that. Maybe if she did, people would love it. I think she would lose her job if she did that, though. Here's another user saying this. Rosemi, I'm sorry. I do love you, but promoting McDonald's means you are supporting Zionism <laughs> and genocide. I know this isn't your decision, and hopefully you are more than aware with the current situation. Ugh. Oh. I hope this is not the regular VTuber audience. I hope that this is just like a fringe niche subsection of the VTuber audience that exists in any different niche, right? That are just so radical and so just, again, just LARPing, using social causes to make yourself seem good and morally grand gesture on people. This is just so sad. Ah, uh, yes. Nothing says I'm serious like saying you love a random person on the internet and also say it's not their decision but then also say they're supporting Zionism and genocide <laughs> by using a PNG of a hash brown. Are these okay. people real? lunatics? This lunatics. is the most insane stuff I've ever seen. What an unbelievable reach. And if we want to do the same logic of making these ridiculous reaches to say people are yeah. supporting things by consuming or posting about certain things. I mean, this person is literally using Twitter, which is owned by Elon Musk, who owns- Exactly! So if you support Elon Musk, again, just think about what you consume, what you use on a daily basis, then you'll immediately realize how it's so stupid to subject people to um, things like this. Like, what, just because you ate McDonald's once, you actively wish the worst on the Palestinian people? That is absolute insanity. Just take a step back, take a breather, and get out. Just take your medications. This is absolute insanity. How could you come to this conclusion? Tesla, who has cars that have batteries that are powered by child slaves in Africa. Do you support child slavery? Exactly! Like, do you use an iPhone? You support child slavery? You use Amazon? You don't like the working class? You think that they should be squeezed for everything? Like, like wh this just doesn't end. I don't think they would agree with that because it's an insane stretch of logic. And that's exactly what they're trying to do with Rosamy's post. And again, imagine being around people like this in the eggshells you would have to Ugh. walk on to K Now I know why VTubers quit so early, bro. The average like lifespan, not a lifespan, but like, oh, what's, what's the word? Uh, tenure of like a VTuber. It's so low, not just because of freaks like this. There's a lot of different things that goes on regarding the management side and different aspirations in life and poor contracts and whatnot and different opportunities. But like the fandom that you gain, oh. If these were the people that were saying that they were my fans, I would hate myself. I, I, I would quit. I'd be like, this is what I have. After building my entire brand, these lunatics are what my fans are. Like, it's easy for me. I can just block my own personal brand. For, for Rosemi, it's different. She's representing Niji Sanji, so she can't just do that. Cater to their performative outrage and their slacktivism on Twitter. Like, one day, imagine you just have McDonald's and all of a sudden now they hate you and you are complicit and supporting Zionism and genocide. Oh my God. That is how aggressive these people are when it comes to their performative outrage. And as some people would point out with this particular user, this user says, well, and, and like, why are they so good at performative outrage? Why are these people such freaks that like the most pressing concern in their life is that a PNG, not a PNG VTuber, but their favorite VTuber is eating hash browns from McDonald's. Not even eating, just showing it on screen. Like, if you, like, like I think that the, the average person, after they work their job and come home, they're way too fucking tired to even get upset at causes like this. They're probably going to spend some time with their friends or family, put some video games, watch some shows, and call it a day. Like, they don't have time. We fucking worry about shit like this. I think these are fucking terminally online losers that has nothing going on in their lives. They have no job. They have no career aspirations. They try to figure out what can I be mad about? What social causes can I LARP around and try to grand gesture everything and try to, you know, create outrage over it? Like, if you genuinely think that this Rosamy eating like McDonald's like hash browns is the most worrying, the most problematic thing right now that's happening in the world, like, the amount of privilege that you have, it, it, it is crazy. Just think about the privilege you have where, like, getting mad about this is the most important thing in your life, in your day-to-day -day life, when everyone's just trying to survive and get by. I would think if you loved her so much, you'd be following her. So wait a second. This user who was making this performative outrage 
about Rosamy and using their support of her as some sort of a weapon. This is like the fake hater that was trying to call shit on my channel by saying, I used to be a big Call Call fan, but it's just like, bro, your account was made today. What are you fucking talking about? You've never commented. You've done nothing of that shit. They, they go in and they LARP and they're like, well, as Rosa means a number one stand from the beginning, but you're not even following. You don't even watch a guy. What are you talking about? Is this another strategy they need to figure it out? By saying shit like, I'm actually your biggest fan ever, but this is problematic. So if they figured out that if you approach it with this meta, if this strategy, then the VTuber is more willing to, you know, take that criticism. Is that the idea? Against her was never even following her in the first place. And they would try to clarify this by saying, oh, wait a second, uh, is Twitter bugged or something? Why do people think I'm not following her? You're well, not following that her. seems like a awfully convenient excuse. Is it true? I'm not sure, but in this case, it's very funny. To Guys, I don't know what happened. Twitter bug. I, I genuinely don't know what happened. I, I I've been following her since whenever she debuted. I, I let me Google that real quick. Whenever she debuted. Oh yeah, that date. Like fake fans, bro. See the kinds of people virtue signaling over this, and whether they're following or not. Like imagine the absurdity of this situation. Where they're using a pair of PNG hash browns it's so to cute. label Rosamy as a supporter of genocide. What an outrage. Rosamy, I would go on a genocide for you to call all of these lunatics online in a video game. You do not deserve this, Rosamy. I need to protect this smile. Just thing to say, and it doesn't really matter if you were following in the first place or supporting. All of this is just ridiculous. It only makes sense in the minds of Twitter users. Nowhere else in the world will you see such unhinged. Yeah, and like, just because you saw messages like that, just remember, the world isn't actually that insane. Well, then again, recently, you just saw Donald Trump get shot. But, 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 not everyone is really like this, right? On Twitter, you're going to see the exception. You're going to see the most crazy people, the most mentally ill people. Not everyone is really like this. It's just that, you know, obviously it's being, mag it's like putting a magnifying glass on it and making it seem like everyone is like this in the VTuber audience or just like in Twitter and in a nutshell. But I don't think it's really like this. I think that they're just selective, really crazy people that exist in any, any niche, any industry, any group. Inge claims being made over something as silly as this. Now, as I was prepping this video, there was also some other Niji Sanji related oh, drama breaking Millie? involving Millie. Uh -oh. Now, she made a tweet about a couple weeks ago saying this, you're not a failure, you're just in a difficult point in time right now. Aw, that's like a very supportive message, right? It's like everybody's struggling and having a tweet like that kind of shows that, wow, Millie's right. You know what? I can get over this. It's just I'm in a difficult point. Now, how is she going to get canceled for this motivational tweet? I can't wait. And on Twitter, some people are clowning on this, basically citing some of the recent Niji Sanji failures over the past couple of months. And some people... And I don't even know who Millie is, by the way. I don't know if she's a bad liver, a good liver. I don't even know if those things exist. I have no clue. People made YouTube videos about this, trying to guess as to what... Nah, she's problematic too. Nah, Millie... Wait, wait, oh wait. So is she using this tweet? Hold up, hold up. So my, my senses are telling me she's using this wholesome motivational tweet to act as a shield and make her look good when she's been getting dunked on for the last couple of weeks. Is that what's going on? What she might be referring. Personally, I did not cover this, but she definitely saw other people covering this and she had something to say. Oh, this Jesus Christ. Oh, when <laughs> a, a quote retweet. A quote retweet into multiple threats. Oh, boy. Here we go. That she made only hours ago. She said this, I saw a YouTube video about yeah. this tweet and I just want to address something about this. I've told membership about this in my recent stream that I've been taking therapy to improve myself and I felt- This sounds like a YouTube apology, right? Guys, I'm sick in the head. I have a problem. I'm going to go to therapy. I'm going to get it resolved. And I'm going to come back. I'm gonna, the content's going to start again. It's like the classic- YouTuber, streamer, content creator, you know, the apology video, right? And, when, and whenever drama happens, you admit the fault, then you say you're going to go to therapy, then you go on vacation for three weeks, then you come back. Well, sharing this quote as my therapist told this to me and mm. made me emotional. 
and I wanted to share it to those who needed to hear the same thing. It disappoints me that some people made this narrative that this tweet was twisted in a way that it was somehow related to how I hate my own race. What? What? I, I feel like I can't understand. Like, this feels like season three of Niji Sanji drama, and I haven't watched season one or season two. I've seen a bit of season one, maybe not season two, so I, I'm not really understanding the, the logic here of hating my own race, but go on. Please stop speculating things, and that's interesting. I haven't really heard any of this, but anyways. Is she white? She continues on saying, and basing whatever you think that fits your narrative, if I truly dislike my tag fan base, I wouldn't have streamed. We need any news cut content on this one. True. <laughs> yeah, this VTuber drama is dude. Like, she's Filipino? Got it. Dude, VTuber drama, it's like, there's so many different stages and it's just like a cascading thing that builds on top of the previous plot. If you don't know what's been going on like three years ago, you can't really understand everything that's going on. Uh, a tag long yeah. before I took a break. Heck. I wouldn't even try to wake up early just to stream to their- I wouldn't have streamed a Tagalog. Tagalog. Streamed a Tag- Tagalog? It's a language, right? Streamed a Tagalog? No, it's Tagalog. I, I, I'm confused. Time zones, I also made more creative tag streams than anything. Too long didn't read- Yeah, it's the Filipino language, right? Tagalog. Yeah, yeah. So, does that mean I wouldn't have streamed Tag- So, as in, like, she only streamed in Filipino language? Is what she's saying before she took a break. Stop making shit up just because you have nothing else to cover for your content and watch streams. Wait, 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 the TLDR at the end. I'm basing whatever you think that fits your narrative. If I truly dislike my tag fan base, I wouldn't have streamed a Tagalog before I took a break. Heck, I wouldn't even try to wake up early just to stream into their time zones. I also made more creative tag streams than anything. So, um, I think that... I, I remember seeing random tweets here and there about how... Did she say that she felt ashamed? Or... No, no, no. She, I, I think there was something like... Feeling as if her Filipino fan base or people that speak Tagalog... Like, she's not trying to appeal to them and therefore it would seem racist? Can, 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 can someone give me extra context here? Because she is Filipino, but she doesn't like the Filipino fan base. And she wants a different type of fan base, is what people were thinking. And now she's justifying, well, no, 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 I do not hate my own kind. In fact, why would I intensely try to stream in their time zone and speak tag only on that, you know, that stream? I'm confused. For your content and watch streams. She said she's Canadian, even though she was born and raised in the Philippines. Okay. Well, honestly, I don't know really who she's targeting with that tweet, but personally, I'll say if you want to look for things to cover involving Niji Sanjian, you don't really have to stretch things or embellish things or look for things that are very small or insignificant. No, just show their tweets. Just show their receipt. It's that easy to farm Niji. Significant because it's happening left and right, whether it's directly from the talents, from management, or the Niji sisters. There's a never ending supply of oh screw ups that you can cover. So I don't. And you know what that means? Every day, Rev can just get a clip of a fucking screenshot of a tweet and just farm that. It makes so much money. And then I will then react to that video. It's infinite content mill. I hope they keep having drama, bro. I don't know what they're getting at with this whole thing. But really, as with anything else, adding more to this conversation is just adding more controversy and yeah. drama. And you Good. would think someone from Niji Sanji would know better at this point, but I guess not. But anyway. I think that a lot of these VTubers are very unsuited. They're not PR trained. They have no real life experiences and they're mentally ill young kids coming in or old people, you know, that are mentally stunted and have no understanding. And there's this whole like idol culture too that makes the whole experience so much more parasocial with the audience that it makes like livers, I think, more prone to mental illness. It's crazy, man. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video as always. I hope you guys y'all know what to do please go give rev a like on the video sub to his channel if you haven't this is <laughs> absolute insanity one girl gets canceled for showing a cute cute mcdonald's you know hash browns and suddenly she supports palestinian genocide and on the other side millie parfait i don't know what the fuck she did but she's basically trying to cover up her past drama of hating on filipino people even though she is filipino herself
<laughs> through a motivational tweet. I got baited here. Like this is like a classic bait where it's like, as a tourist, as like an observer, as like someone from the outside circle that has no idea, I'm like, I read this, I'm like, huh, seems kind of sensible. But if it's like, wait, actually, you need to understand like three separate layers of mental illness and then you'll realize why this tweet is actually bad. <laughs> VTuber lore, man. We need to like, we need to start farming more. We need to like understand more about VTuber lore for to like fully flesh out the drama, man.